Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another Change Your Life 20 second uh, video, series of video. And as always, uh, thank you so much. I'm hoping that you will take some notes. Today, we're going to start uh, something very important, processes. Today, we're going to talk about process number one. If you haven't read one chapter yet, or if you haven't uh, listened to me first, I would recommend that you go back and listen to a couple of videos before you go on this one. Don't start right there. It might be too uh, strange for some of you. Anyway, so process number one. Again, I'm going to make some mistake when I'm reading this. I'm going to mispronounce some words. Just bear with me and focus on the content. Tell a different story. Look. If you're not happy with an area of your life, well, it might be time that you start telling yourself and the universe a different story. Please notice that I wrote telling yourself a different story. Any changes you want to create will always come from within. Everything you want to accomplish will start with the story you tell yourself. Unfortunately, most of us, most of us stopped believing in what we can achieve years ago. We used to have dreams, vision, and wanted to achieve so much, but life happened. And somewhere along the way, we neglected to create our own story and started living an ordinary life. We began to react to the circumstances of our environment and began listening to what others told us what we should do and not do. And at the same time, we accepted and believe in our self-limitation. What I want to say here is pretty simple, right? When you're young, sometimes if you look at somebody who's young, six, seven, eight years old, what do you want to do? I want to be an astronaut. I want to be the president. I want to be a doctor. I want to be a, whatever they want to be. There's no limitation in their thinking yet. But, it, but eventually, parents, other people, coaches, uh uh, teachers, tutors, mentors, they say, oh, you cannot do this, you should do this at the same time. And we start believing in uh, what other people believe you, what you can do. Instead of believing in yourself, you start believing in what other people believe you can do, especially your parents. And uh, at the end of the day, it creates self-limitation. You don't want to have self-limitation. I mean, this is what it is, right? You do not, if you have self-limitation right now, it's time to get rid of it. And one of the ways to get rid of it is by this exercise, create your story every morning. How to do it? First, you will need to create your story. And I suggest that you write your final copy on something valuable. Something that reminds you that this new story is precious for you. I like the saying, think on paper. Writing will help you gather and organize your thoughts, making you think, making you think with purpose, focusing on what you want to say. Some of my clients will take a few hours, write their new story and read it a few times, several times a day, particularly when they get up in the morning and before they're going to bed at night. I prefer to take a few minutes every day and rewrite my story every morning. I, be I believe in adding substance and details to it as often as I can. Of course, someday the story will be the same as the day before, but other days I find a better way to formulate what I want to manifest or I get inspired and add a new component and details to do it. It doesn't matter what you do, right? You can you write your story. They say, hey, this is the way I look at it, right? I will take a piece of paper right now if you don't have a story and will say, or write it. I will do it writing. And I will say, hey, universe, this is what I want. This is what I want. This is a uh, love life, uh, business life, uh, car I want to drive, the house I want to live, uh, how famous I am, how many followers I have, whatever it is that you want to accomplish, I would write them down. I would write them down in a story, and I would put some feelings into it. I will be talking about that in a second, but I read the story. So what do you do when you have your story? Well, you can read it every morning and every evening, a couple of times a day, or you do like me, I rewrite my story every morning. Because sometimes, like I said, it helps me, first of all, to focus on the, what I want to accomplish. And sometimes I had another idea, different words, which brings different feelings. And uh, that's the way. Either way, focus on uh, your story. Because the more you focus on what you want to accomplish, the more you focus on your story, the more it's in your head, the faster it's going to manifest in your life. All right, let's keep going here. It doesn't matter if you read or rewrite or memorize your story. What matters is that you find a way to discipline yourself to think about what you want and tell the universe exactly what you desire to create. Clarity is power. I always say that. Clarity is power. And the word discipline is very important here. 
See, when you take the time to write and describe what you want to manifest every morning, you are forced to focus or motivate or influence to focus. And the more you focus on what you want, the faster, the faster it will manifest in your life. Excuse me, it's the law. A few tips when writing your story. You may want to start writing most of your sequ- sentences with the word I am or I feel. Always write your story in the present tense. You must describe your story like it is happening now or like it's already done. You want to tell the universe what you expect with what I call feeling words. What feeling will I experience as I manifest this new goal desire? You should use words such as satisfying, accomplished, joyful, happy, successful, easy, frequently. Everybody's stories will be different, but you could start by describing your new business, career, life, and then defining your perfect lover if he or she is not in your life already. You may want to spend some time describing your new fitness and health story. Any object, person, or circumstances you want to attract and manifest should be in your story, including the life area you want to improve. By the way, this is a personal, right? So don't be afraid or care about what other people think or will think. It, it all, it's all about you. It is your time. It's time to start telling your new story and create your new reality. Here's an example of my story a few years ago. I am powerful. See, I start with the I am. And I talk about positive, and it is present. I am powerful. I'm a powerful coach. I am a powerful influencer. I am successful. My business is booming. And I have hundreds of satisfied clients, thousands of happy followers. I am the author of a bestseller book, and its sales revenue is already surpassed expectation. I am famous. I am well-known in the coaching industry. People love me. They love what I do and how I do it. They love my programs, and they get precise results and outstanding outcomes. Because my business is booming and growing fast, I am now creating a Focus One is All franchise where I partner with other professional coaches to serve more clients more clients. I am successful that I need to hire salespeople. I am so successful that I need to hire salespeople, customer service representative, marketer, social media expert, etc. People are calling my staff to book speaking engagement with me. I'm busy. I'm happy. I feel good, satisfied, successful, accomplished, and it feels like it's already done. See, the story above is only a short version of my actual business career story. I have also created other stories for each different area of my life, such as relationship, health, peace of mind, etc. And I recommend that you do the same. There is no doubt in my mind that if I keep focusing and telling this story with feeling as often as I can, it is happening and very soon I will be saying, I created my own life story and I am ready to create a bigger one. You can do the same. Just know that your story will evolve and change, probably get bigger as you accomplish more and more every day. That's the beauty of creating your own life stories. You can add to it, modify it at any time you want. From now on, tell your story the way you want it to be. And when you realize that your story is not in alignment with the direction of your goal, then stop and tell a different story. This process is so powerful, you can change your entire life by improving your story you tell yourself. This process is so robust that you can change your entire life by restating a different story a few minutes every day. Wow. I did some reading here pretty fast, right? But here's what I, the few words right here that I want to talk about again is uh, discipline. There's no point to do uh, three hours in one day and don't do anything for the rest of the week. Discipline is the key. Make sure you do five minutes of a day, 10 minutes of a day, one minute or two minutes in the morning, two minutes in the evening. Discipline is the key. Discipline will bring consistency. Consistency equal low momentum. We talk about that in a few chapters away. Low momentum then brings more momentum and you get what you want even faster, right? So that's the first one is discipline. The second one is the focus of writing your story. So when you write your story, guess what? You are focusing. You are paying attention to your story. You're telling the universe. You're telling your subconscious mind. You're telling yourself, this is what I have. This is who I am. This is exactly, this is my story. And that's the very powerful of it. Powerful. This is a very powerful technique, actually. And I really believe it because I've been writing my story for I don't know how many years. It's crazy. I, every morning I get up and I write my story. It takes me about 20 minutes. 
And of course, I do a few other things as well, but this is it. And if I look at my life right now and my life before, I mean, it's it's it's, it's not funny, but it is impressive that, yeah, things are happening exactly like I put in my story. All right. So if you want to know more about what I do and everything, here's the thing. The Near Focus One is all coaching is my email. You can send me an email. I always read it. Check the, our website. We have many different programs that you may find uh, useful for you actually this many program a different budget as well uh do me a favor if you like this stuff focus one is all coach at youtube right here just do this and if you wanted to become a coach or something or you know anybody who would like to become a coach as i was telling in my story i do have a franchise right now certification that that we help people to become one of the best coach not only to become the right technique and the right uh, tools and tips and all that stuff but we help them as well with the marketing the branding and the promoting and the building of the business all right so i just want to say thank you so much for listening i'm going to say the same as always stay well and stay focused on what stay focused on what you really 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 want talk to you later